So here's my problem. I get subpar battery life out of Samsung phones specifically, and it's something that has been an ongoing issue for me for years. Sometimes it happens right away, but other times it takes a while. So in my Galaxy S6 video, for example, I talk about how it has better battery life than its predecessor. With the S6 Active, I was impressed that it had enough to get me through the day when other people are reporting the damn thing gets them through two days. With the S7, I did end up with 30% battery at the end of each day, which is about right, given my use, except that I started having the issue after I recorded my review to the point where looking back over the last three years, I realized it's not Android phones. That's what I thought it was. It's Samsung specifically where I run into these issues. And I even talked about it at a video back at CES this year that went up on Unbox Therapy. Which smartphone is in your pocket and why? So I'm on the Pixel 2 XL. My Galaxy S8, something I have installed on it is making the battery drain really fast. I haven't had the time to deal with it. You sound like the most reluctant Pixel user I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so Samsung actually reached out after having seen that video on Unbox Therapy. For whatever reason, they didn't notice any of the things that I've said on this channel. The S8 had middling battery life from the get-go. Battery life on the phone that can do it all is just not that impressive. And ask to help. But even though it's been over six months since then, we still haven't come any closer to answering the question of why is it that every time I pull this thing out of my pocket, it's hot. So we came up with an idea for how we can find out. And we'll tell you about it after this message from our sponsor, Cable Mod. Cable Mod's configurator now lets you select your own customizable RGB backplates for your SSDs and GPUs to help enhance the look of your system. Check out the link below to learn more. So we devised a test. I didn't want to give up my daily driver S9 Plus because even with my issues, it was still getting me through the day the vast majority of the time. So we reached out to our buds over at dbrand to send us a couple of skinned phones. One of them is a brand new Galaxy S9 Plus, with camo skin, of course, because dbrand. And the other one is a brand new Pixel 2 XL. I picked these two phones specifically because of their very similar specs and feature set, even down to little things like the fact that they both have always on displays. Also, I had been using the Pixel 2 XL before working on my S9 review and had not had any battery drain issues with it, even with the same app loadout. So let's walk through what we did to these phones. I actually handed my daily driver S9 Plus over to James and he loaded both of them up with as close as we could get, at least just kind of looking at them and comparing to what I use on my daily driver. So all the same apps logged into the same accounts, always on display, on, wake screen when you receive notifications, same screen timeouts, even similar wallpapers to make sure that if there's a difference in power consumption between one color or another on their OLED displays, that's not going to affect our data. The only problem is that when we ran our test the first time in our controlled environment, we got a result that didn't really add up with my experience. So our Pixel died when our S9 Plus still had double digit battery life left. So we thought, okay, why don't we go back to the drawing board? Maybe we were a little bit lazy here because we had actually left both of the phones in Wi-Fi only mode. Neither of them actually had a SIM installed. And when I did hear from Samsung about my issues, that was one of the first things they asked about. What kind of data connection do you have? So we were like, okay, well, why don't we just run to the corner store and get a couple of SIMs and pop them in here. So it was like 30 bucks and we got exactly nothing for our effort because once again, <laughs> the Samsung phone beat the Pixel 2 XL. Finally, we went, okay, I guess let's bite the bullet and run out and get more expensive SIMs 
with data, which actually adds some inconvenience to this whole thing. Like we've actually been working on this video for almost two months now. First, we had to spend more money. Then we had to wait for the phone's billing cycle to refresh so that the data would come online. The point is, after all that, the results were still the same. So finally, I gave in and I said, okay, James, here's my daily driver S9 Plus. Why don't you compare it to yours? When we did that, my phone died while the other one still had 80% battery. So it's not in my imagination then because the only other explanation here would be that my S9 Plus, which, and this is really interesting, when you actually use it heavily, doesn't seem to drain any faster than any other phone, but my S9 Plus, when it idles, either has like a craptastic battery with basically no real world capacity, or there is something about my specific way of using it that triggers this behavior. And unfortunately, we're at the point now where we kind of have to just go to you, the public, with this and see if we can get some kind of action from them. Because I can tell you guys, I haven't actually heard back from Samsung in over two months even though they were corresponding with me before and asking me, you know, questions that seemed like they might care, like, oh, well, you know, how are you connected to data? And can you send a screenshot of your battery usage? Because that's the most frustrating thing about this entire experience. The fact that we can't pull any useful data off of the phone. When we look at the battery usage, sometimes we might get a hint. Like uh, here's a screenshot that shows Facebook Pages Manager using about one point something percent battery per hour. But that still doesn't account for the difference and the whole thing still doesn't add up to 100%. Plus, I also have screenshots that I have also provided to Samsung that do not have any kind of indication of what's consuming it. So the TLDR is this, over the years, I've thought that there were either issues with Android battery life management or Samsung's battery life management, but every person that I've talked to is having a perfectly good experience. Samsung doesn't seem to have any helpful information to provide on the subject. And so without rooting, because that shouldn't be necessary, I'd love to know from you guys or if Samsung can finally take a serious interest in helping me solve this problem how we can fix this because otherwise both the S9 Plus and the Galaxy Note 9, depending on whether you want a stylus and a bigger battery, which of course is a big deal for me because this issue persists for me with the Note 9. Uh, this one's sitting at 53%, uh, even though I charged it last night, I've hardly touched it today and I don't even have my SIM in it. So like, honestly, I'm, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit now because I'm just, I'm just frustrated. You know, we were really hoping to come to you guys with like, aha, Here's the one app that kills your battery. I mean, who wouldn't click on that video, right? Or like, here's the perfect storm of apps that kills your battery life. But without endless trial and error, we just can't seem to get there. Like, I just got nothing else. I'm just sad. I just want to use this phone and have it work properly. Speaking of working properly, you know what works properly? Dbrand skins. I mean, they're just a piece of high quality 3M vinyl. How can they not work properly? You go on their configurator, we'll have that linked in the video description. You pick which device and they've got all kinds of stuff they support. Phones, game consoles, game controllers, laptop computers, all kinds of great stuff. You select which colors and textures you want. You order them, they've got worldwide shipping and it's affordable. And then you apply it to your device with one of their very helpful instructional videos. And now all of a sudden, boom, you look cooler and your device is protected from incidental scrapes and scratches. Actually, it's been great for my Nintendo Switch, which I often slide in and out of my bag and would otherwise totally get dinged up. Oh yeah, they support the Nintendo Switch now, which you would know if you watch Scrapyard Wars and got annoyed by all the dbrand product placements. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. What's here is a link to dbrand. We're gonna have that down below. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. I see you, Samsung employees. If you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. To be very clear, I still love the S9 Plus. I still love the Note 9. I still use the Note 9 now as my daily driver, but the S9 Plus, quite frankly, is not far behind it. I just, 
I just want them to be even better for me because everyone else seems to be fine with it.